Well, today I'm going to be picking some pears and we're going to make some pear preserves. But this is my grandmother's tree it, and it's just loaded. And uh, these are Asian pears, eating pears. And uh, I mean, just look at it. It's just the limbs are just loaded and it probably needed to have been thinned, but we didn't do that. But um, these are ripe and ready and uh you know they're ready when they just barely come off like that and uh these are pears wrap wrapping from the um core out so when they get that yellowish tint to them we know the green is kind of going away but just started and uh, we're gonna have a good abundance of pears. All right, we got all of the pears picked. Uh, I usually do a laundry basket full to make a, um, a recipe of it. And this is the roaster pan. That's just the lid of the scraps. And we're gonna peel all these up and stick them in here. I make the pieces about, about, about that big, maybe half a finger length and uh, and then we'll as we need to as they start to kind of brown we'll put a little bit of lemon juice in there and we'll be back when we get them all peeled all right we got this pan full we're going to put some more lemon juice on top uh, we had a little bit of pears left over but this is enough oops I have a little puppy dog over here that likes to eat. And then we're going to pour a five-pound bag of sugar. Make sure it's five pounds. A lot of sugar nowadays is four. Just pour that on top. that and then we're going to cover it with this lid and we're going to let it sit overnight and, and in the morning all that sugar would have turned to liquid and we'll we'll go it's the next day and this is how it looks the sugar is almost gone there's a little bit right there but um pretty much all the way melted and you can see that it's watery. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the heat. And I have a gas stove, so we're going to put it on medium heat. And it's going to start cooking down. And we cook it until it starts getting, um, some of them start getting uh, clear or translucent. So, now becomes the fun part. Peeling is not the fun part. I like to put a little cinnamon in mine. Um, so I'm going to put a little cinnamon. Let's see. i got to find it. Here it is. And uh, if you don't like cinnamon, you can skip, skip this. I probably put a fourth of a of a teaspoon not not a lot maybe a half just however much you like and we'll just stir it around and it'll start boiling and we'll just let it cook down for a while it's been cooking for about 20 minutes and uh, it started bubbling a little bit see how it's bubbling around the edges I turned it down a little bit more. I don't want it to cook too fast. Um, I've got my stove on number four. And uh, I've got both of these burners on. One here and one back here. So, uh, but it's starting to turn colors. And it, it will. It, it you, you know it's ready when it's the color of honey. And then some of these are translucent. Look at that one. Let me see if you can see it. See that right there? It's trying to, trying to kind of get clear around the edges. So it will do that. 
uh, I've got my jars in the um, in the dishwasher getting hot and I'm fixing to turn my my lids and bands on uh, and start boiling those I usually boil those on a separate burner and then we will when this gets a little bit more done we will uh, draw them up okay it's been cooking almost 45 minutes and I turned up the stove probably the last 15 minutes and it's boiling you can see see that and you can see how it's changing colors it's getting dark real dark and that's what we want so I'll probably just let this cook about another two or three minutes and then we're going to go to the next step I've got my jars or lids boiling over there and uh, we'll uh, take this off the stove got this little funnel thing those are life savers for a mess got my, my bands and I got a little magnet here for uh, to get the lids out of the hot water got me a hot paper towel to wipe the lids with okay we'll just start putting it in here and I try to get like three fourths juice in each one try to not put so much juice or you'll have a jar of half juice and half pears and you don't really want that you can uh when you get to the end and you just have a lot of juice left you can make what we call I, some people do not call this call it this but we always did we always call it pear honey so uh now some people do uh prop they process their 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 stuff after see how that needs some more juice but it's full of pears so we're going to put just juice in there some people process it in a hot water bath um this particular recipe i do not do that unless i'm going to sell it i'm going to sell it i do but uh if i'm just making it for us I don't because this is the way my granny made it and I just do it like she did so we're gonna get a hot hot lid first off you always wipe your wipe your jar so you don't have anything on there you want a good seal you don't want all this work for nothing and then put that on there like that and then you tighten it up just finger not real, real tight, but what they call finger. And I always turn mine upside down. It's just the way Granny did it, so that's the way I do it. it just makes that seal stay hot. Um, I like to do this size right here for a pie. Uh, these we'll just have for regular breakfast, like, you know, jelly or jam or preserves. Or, but um, if you want to make a pie with it, you can take that jar put it in a saucepan put some butter and some vanilla in there pour it in a pie shell put another pie shell on top kind of like you put an apple pie oh it's good or a crumb topping very 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 good so we're going to finish jarring these up this is a really good size for a gift put water in there so i try to do a variety of sizes That is needing a little bit of juice. You've never tried pear preserves. Um, you're missing out. And I particularly do not like pears, but I do like pear preserves. We'll wipe it down again. The hot water bath that I was talking about that if you're gonna sell it or whatever um, is Caleb show them that hot water canner right there behind us not open it you don't have to open it but it's you just fill it up with water and 
for my area, you would do it for 10 minutes. Now, when I make um, strawberry, and I make plum, jam, and blackberry jam, and blackberry jelly, then I do process it. It's just this only, just this only uh, recipe here that I don't. I just go strictly by the way my granny did it. All right, we're gonna finish this up and then I will come back and show you the rest. Okay, I left the ones that were upside down about five minutes. So these two were the last ones, so they a couple more minutes on those. And, uh, and then after a few minutes, you'll start hearing a ping and that'll be the seal uh ceiling it's a lovely sound and uh, see how pretty that is yeah and it is good at the end of this video i'm going to put uh my nanny um talking about this video she uh she had gotten the um recipe from a neighbor uh, her name was lenny hunter uh, years ago, way before I think I was born. So it's a really old video. Uh, I mean, not a video, a recipe. And uh, she's been making it like this for a long time. And they, my nanny had, um, they had, uh, her and Poppy had orchards, pears, plums, peaches for years. So we did a lot of canning. Did you hear that? That was a seal. <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And uh, hope you will try this out and enjoy it with your family. First, you pick the pears off the trees after they're ripe enough. And they have to be ripe enough that they start falling off the tree. And then you collect them and you peel them. And cut them up in pieces. And you put the pieces in a pan. Uh, I don't know how big that pan is. It's like a turkey, like you cook a turkey in. It's a it's a oval shaped pan that you would cook a turkey and dressing in. Yeah, roaster. It's a roaster, and you put all the pears in there, and then you don't have any liquid in them. You you just have the pears. And then you take a five pound sack of sugar and evenly distribute it all over them. And then you leave them over, you cover them and leave them overnight. And the next day you put them on the stove and you cook them slowly. And then you cook them probably on a medium mm -hmm. heat until they, the, the juice turns the color of honey, and then I don't know if you have to do a, a test, but it's the best toast cover you can have, and the best biscuit, basket, biscuit filler you can have, mm -hmm. and it's natural. Yeah, I've heard it just has the three ingredients, pears. Honey, you, I don't know how. A little bit of. She said two lemons. Yeah, a little she? bit of lemon. The and some, sometimes lemon. I'll put a little bit of cinnamon in it. Just. Uh -huh. to, sometimes I'll put a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think any kind of herb will hurt it. Yeah. 